So I decided to stop in the city of Castle, which I didn't know nothing, which I know nothing about. But it looks like a cool little city, so I think I'm gonna explore here a little bit and then just head back home a little bit later. So let's take a look around Castle and see what we can find. They stole Berlin's Ampelmann. Come on, guys. Really? You're better than this castle. If you think I'm kidding about Spargel being crazy here, that's a Spargel stand just set up on this road. Two roads diverged in a yellow woods. Which one do I take? Do I go right, up the hill, or left, this direction? Hmm, I think, according to this map, we are right down here. We wanna go up here, I think. I think if I take the left path, I'll go this direction, which might be all right too. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go left. I think I'm gonna go this direction. Plus, that's like right uphill. I'm not ready to get started going uphill just quite yet. Pro tip: if you see something has the word berg in it, prepare for an uphill climb. Berg means mountain. I mean, I mean, I was prepared for that, but my fat ass, I don't think was. So apparently this palace was built for the Landgrave Wilhelm IX of Hesse in the late 18th century. And it became a favorite of the last Kaiser, Wilhelm II, from 1888 to 1918. This place is amazingly beautiful. I don't think I'm going to go in. I don't know if I've ever said this on here or not, but I'm not a huge fan of museums. I know as a history guy that sounds funny, but I, I, I find them boring. I get bored really easily in museums. I don't want to pay to go in. And I've seen beautiful rooms. I do, I do palace tours in Potsdam of Sanssouci and, and um, Frederick the Great's palace is there. So I don't really have any desire to go in. So I'm not going to do that, but I am going to continue up this hill and hopefully not die. So let's get going. So I don't think you can actually go in these ruins, which is unfortunate, because that would be really cool. 
I lied. You can go in the ruins. Now these aren't real Roman ruins. They're built in the 18th century to look like Roman ruins. It's a copy of a Roman aqueduct is what it is. I want you guys to never forget what I do for you and that I love you. I am climbing to the Hercules Fountain, which I swear to God is 400 miles uphill. So it's taking me a little bit of time, but I think it's going to be worth it. It looks cool on the pictures that I've seen. So yeah, should be cool. Oh, look at this view though. My God, this is so beautiful. It's a little hazy today. I bet it's beautiful when it's clear. That's where we're headed. We're pretty close, not too far. I'm almost there. I made, all right, I made it to the base of, uh, I can't remember what this is called. Hercules, Hercules something. I'll put it on the screen. I gotta go all the way to the top. I'm here. I think I can make it, maybe. Wish me luck. You know, I bet there was a way around this to get to the top. I bet that would have been a lot easier. What a f***ing idiot. to the top which was a little anticlimactic because you can't get in it because it looks like they're doing construction and I don't know the view from up here is really nice but I think I think maybe one layer one level lower is better because then you don't get this crane in your pictures but it's definitely worth the trip up here pro tip you don't have to walk up the stairs. You can walk around the hill and come up. It might be easier than the stairs. I plan on going back that way. So, yeah. This is really cool. Really cool view. And I tell you, this is so different than Berlin. Berlin being as flat as a pancake. And actually seeing hills is a pretty nice change. Okay, this was definitely worth the trek up here. It's a lot cooler up here too. It's really nice. And what goes up must come down. I didn't want to go back the same way. So I think we're going to venture this. Going up the stairs is definitely more taxing on my cardio. Coming down the stairs is more taxing on my knees. Whew, I, feel like, I feel like I'm walking on rubber right now. All right. Making an executive decision. Leuvenberg is the thing that I haven't seen. I could go there. I'm really hungry though. And it's almost 12. I kind of need to get back and get to the train station soon. 
I think I'm going to make the executive decision and just head back down to the schlo to the castle and see maybe get something to eat down there. I saw a cafe. And it might be expensive and it might be hit or miss. I don't know. But I might grab something there and then head back to the train station. We'll just see. But in any event, I'm headed back the direction and then kind of hop on a train and go home. The okay, castle was pretty cool. I only spent about six hours here. And I think it would be worth spending probably a full day, maybe a day and a half. I only got to see the park, but the park was really quite cool. I really enjoyed that. Very tiring. I am uh, not much of a hiker, and going up that hill was, that was a lot, but it was good. So I hope you enjoyed this little impromptu video from Castle. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, and if you want to see more content about Germany and traveling through Germany and life in Germany, check out the next video.